Good evening. Welcome to TCM and the continuation of our look at our star of this month, Gloria Graham. I'm Alicia Malone. And next we have a movie that is not only one of the best movies about the movies, but also features her single Academy Award winning performance. From 1952, directed by Vincent Minnelli and produced by John Houseman, it's The Bad and the Beautiful. This also makes for a fun game of guess which real Hollywood figure each character is inspired by. The screenplay was adapted by Charles Schnee from a short story by George Bradshaw, and the plot centers on a brilliant but difficult producer named Jonathan Shields, played by Kirk Douglas. Over the years, he has helped the careers of a director, played by Barry Sullivan, an actress, played by Lana Turner, and a screenwriter, played by Dick Powell. But Shields has also greatly harmed their personal lives in the process. And Gloria Graham is Rosemary, the wife of Dick Powell's screenwriter character whose boredom leads to tragedy. Graham had to learn a southern accent for this role and had the rare chance to show off her comedic ability. She worked hard and by all accounts was a breeze to be with on this set. John Houseman said she was always funny and attractive and no trouble of any kind. Minnelli liked working with her very much. So let's see it from 1952. This is The Bad and the Beautiful. The Bad and the Beautiful was nominated for six Academy Awards and won almost all of those, five in total, including the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for Gloria Graham. This was her second nomination and when Edmund Gwen read out her name, she nervously walked up to him, tripped slightly on her way up the stairs, claimed her Oscar and mumbled a quick thank you very much while leaving the stage. She looked a little disheveled and her brevity received a humorous giggle from the audience, but later she had to defend defend herself against rumours that she had been drunk. As she said, people said I was drinking, but of course I wasn't. I don't drink. I think I was emotionally drunk. Really, she was just very nervous, and can you blame her? Following her Oscar win, Graham said she suffered from a bad attack of Oscar fright and later wrote that while she was the flavour of that month, pretty soon she felt like old news. Although, as she also wrote, I think we're always moving towards something, never feeling that we've ever achieved it and never feeling that we've done the best that we're able to do and I think that's healthy. It's time for a quick break, but keep watching TCM Star of the Month celebration of Gloria Graham because next we have her in an interesting heist film from 1959, co-starring Robert Ryan and Harry Belafonte. Next on TCM, Odds Against Tomorrow, then Not as a Stranger, and later The Cobweb. Get tangled up in TCM tonight.